a fictional character that lost his mind to knight errantry, love, and duty. He fought herds of sheep as if they were knights, and attacked windmills as if they were giants. The Don Quixote Syndrome. Some say a myth, but science has proven it true. Join me in my documentary as I demystify this rare disease that may have negative effects on some people's future. This is the Don Quixote Syndrome, psychopath in the making. The Oklahoma City bombing killed 168 people in 1995, 19 children, and sent almost 400 people to the hospital. One of the main conspirators of this event was Timothy McVeigh. He was sentenced to death. Studies now show that this American terrorist had a sickness, a sickness of delusion and fantasy. I began my journey by talking with Jean Gravois, a psychoanalyst who has studied the times and life of Timothy McVeigh. He never spoke much. He was kind of a loner. Uh, one thing that has been reported in many reports and stories is that McVeigh believed he was doing right when in fact he was doing wrong. He was convinced that the government was at fault for letting other bombings happen, and he wanted to end it once and for all. So do you think he became a victim of his own mind? Oh yes. He lost all sense of reality, therefore committing this deadly act. Now this, ha this seems to tie into a, uh, a story about a man on quests of knight errantry. Does this sound familiar? Oh yes, Don Quixote. Absolutely. This is definitely a big part of this event. So the Don Quixote syndrome is real? Correct. Dangerously real. Gravois told me that this syndrome has only existed in two people here in the United States. One of them being Timothy McVeigh and the other a new case that opened up this year. It is a disorder that plunges kids into a noticeably irregular behavior in terms of fantasy and a superiority complex of Nietzsche's Superman. I was actually lucky enough to find the only reported DQS patient here in the United States and here in Los Angeles. This is Darison. Darison, what do you have? DQS. DQS? Yeah. So, uh, Darison has been checked by the doctors, correct? Yes, he has. He has DQS. Uh, that's a rare form of schizophrenia that pulls him from reality into a weird state of, how can I say this, adventure? So he resembles that of Don Quixote, Cervantes' uh, fictional character that roams Spain for his mistress Dulcinea del Toboso. So he has these characteristics? Yes, he does. We have uh, Darison's actually reading right now. Darison, what are you reading? Adventure book about yeah. King Arthur. You're reading King Arthur? Round the table. And the round table? Is well, it interesting? Yeah. Oh, why don't you read this one right here? We have uh, Dr. Seuss. No, no, no. Why not? Because it's too long. Oh. You don't want to read that one? I want to read this one. It seems Darison really likes stories from the Middle Ages. And he reminds me so much of Don Quixote, how he was in his library just into his books so much. Yes, he goes crazy sometimes, slashing at things as if they were giants. All right, Darison, is that a windmill over there? No, it's a giant. It's a giant? <laughs> Darison, Darison. What did you just do? Killed it. You have followed up with the doctors, correct? Yes, we have. They said if this wasn't treated at this age, he would have become psychotic and would have put others' lives in danger. He's the only person reported to have this disease since the Oklahoma bombing terrorist. A person you do not want associated with your son. After talking with the DQS patient, I later met up with Don Quixote scholar Maria Arroyo from Mexico to talk about the qualities of Don Quixote and how this fictional character relates to today's world in terms of Timothy McVeigh and the Oklahoma City bombing. Usted tiene que darse cuenta de que el Don Quijote lucha por el amor y el honor. El amor y el honor ahora puede significar algo totalmente diferente. Puede ser el patriotismo o nacionalismo. Es una cuestión de perspectiva.
Digamos que un niño es diagnosticado con síndrome del Don Quijote, ¿eventualmente se puede volver un maniático? Ahora es mucho más peligroso cuando una persona se vuelve loca. Entonces no había casi nadie, sobre todo en la España rural. Ahora hay ciudades con millones de personas. ¿Puede ser que el Don Quijote sea más peligroso con el tiempo? Exacto. Es ejemplo para alguien que no queremos tener en este tiempo. Quizás estuvo bien hacer esas cosas entonces, pero cuando juntas el gobierno, la política, las armas y la gente, obtienes una fórmula similar para un ataque terrorista. And there you have it, Don Quijote de la Mancha, a man so devoted to the characters in his books that he takes on their personalities. In today's world, the Don Quijote mindset is much more dangerous. DQS is a gateway to violence that may surmount into terrorism. If it is found early, we may be able to stop it from developing into an adult mind. Luckily for Darrison, he is saved from a future like that of Timothy McVeigh. But if Don Quixote syndrome goes unnoticed, wind farms all over the world may go up in flames. I'm Chris, and this has been the Don Quixote syndrome, psychopath in the making.